you decide it's time to make a change, a choice to live healthier, to ensure you live a long life filled with quality moments, not just for yourself, but for the future of your family. This is the real story of Jim, a 50-year-old man married with two kids who lived a regular life but carried a constant worry. Years ago, Jim witnessed his father suffer a heart attack at 59, a moment that left a deep impact on him. He saw the painful loss, his father missing out on seeing grandkids grow, on family milestones, on moments that only a longer life can offer. It was this realization, this fear of the same fate, that became the force behind Jim's journey to transform his life. Determined not to face the same future, Jim began focusing on his health with new dedication. He cut out fast food, turned to homemade, nutritious meals, and introduced daily exercise into his life, at least 30 minutes a day, six days a week. But he didn't just want to live longer, he wanted to live well, to be active and feel his best. To optimize his health further, Jim, like millions of people worldwide, decided to add a supplement to his daily routine. He chose green tea extract in capsule form, a natural supplement with promising benefits, weight control, cardiovascular health, and even cancer protection. Green tea has been consumed for thousands of years and seemed like a safe, beneficial addition to his health routine. He had no reason to doubt the safety of this simple capsule he took every morning. But what Jim didn't know was that this small, seemingly harmless pill would wreak havoc on his body. What was meant to be his ally in wellness was instead breaking down his liver, slowly and insidiously. Have you ever wondered if a supplement you take daily might be doing more harm than good? For Jim, a man who took pride in making healthy choices, this was unthinkable. Like so many people, he trusted in the promises supplements offered, believing they were all as safe as they claimed to be. Yet for months, he had no idea his health was quietly deteriorating. He didn't see the warning signs, and why would he? He was following every rule of a healthy lifestyle. Then one day, everything began to fall apart. And the worst part was that it happened on a significant day, the day of his son's graduation. Jim had looked forward to this moment for years, a milestone he'd promised himself he wouldn't miss. Standing there, proudly beside his wife, he suddenly didn't feel quite right. His wife, Kathleen, noticed something odd. Jim, she asked, what's going on? Your face looks yellow. He laughed it off, attributing it to tiredness, but she didn't let it go. No, Jim, you're not well. Your eyes are yellow. You look sick. Jim shrugged it off, thinking it couldn't be anything serious. He was doing everything right. How could he be sick? But that concern from his wife lingered in his mind. Had he ignored some signs along the way? In the days that followed, he began to notice things that didn't add up. He felt more and more exhausted, even after a full night's sleep. Nausea became a constant presence, and a persistent pain in the right side of his abdomen started to become uncomfortable. But Jim still didn't suspect anything serious. He kept going, trusting his healthy routine, convinced it would pass. However, his body was sending warning signals he couldn't ignore forever. After more urging from his wife, Jim finally agreed to go to the hospital. The doctors were puzzled. Jim didn't drink, use no drugs, took no medication. In every way, he seemed a model of health. But his blood tests showed alarming results. His liver was severely damaged. The culprit, the green tea extract he had been taking daily. The compound in those capsules, EGCG, was quietly poisoning his liver. It was a shocking revelation for Jim. He had never imagined that something so innocuous, available over the counter at any pharmacy, 
could be so hazardous. This is a crucial point to remember. Supplements are not always safe, despite popular belief. Here, I emphasize again, it's vital to be cautious. Jim found himself at the brink of liver failure. The medical team sat him down, and their words hit hard. You will need a liver transplant, and fast. At that moment, Jim felt the weight of his situation crushing down on him. He was caught in a race against time, desperate to find a matching liver before it was too late. As he waited, he saw his body deteriorate. His skin took on a yellow tint, a constant reminder that his health was slipping away. Each passing day felt heavier, and he realized that the dream of seeing his children grow up was now hanging in the balance. Then, against all odds, a compatible liver became available. The transplant was a success, granting Jim a second chance at life. Yet, this miraculous outcome is not the fate for many others. The reality is alarming. The number of people needing liver transplants due to toxic supplements is rising. In fact, recent studies from the University of Michigan, published in JAMA, reveal that millions of Americans are unknowingly consuming potentially hepatotoxic supplements. These products, popular for their health claims, carry serious risks that users often overlook. So, have you ever considered whether you might have used one of these dangerous supplements? Let's take a closer look at some of the most harmful substances you might encounter. First, there's turmeric or curcumin. Widely praised for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant benefits, turmeric is often taken in capsule form for joint pain and arthritis. While small amounts are typically safe, concentrated doses found in supplements can stress the liver and, in rare cases, lead to toxicity. Next up is green tea extract, the very supplement that endangered Jim's life. Green tea is fantastic in moderation, providing energy boosts and cardiovascular benefits. But consuming concentrated EGCG supplements can be a different story. Prolonged high doses may result in severe liver damage, a risk not everyone is aware of. Then we have ashwagandha, marketed as an adaptogen to help manage stress and boost energy. Although moderate use may seem safe, there have been cases linking ashwagandha to liver injuries, particularly with high doses taken over extended periods. Another supplement to watch is black cohosh, commonly used by women to ease menopausal symptoms. Studies indicate that black cohosh may cause liver inflammation, leading to hepatitis or even liver failure if used long-term. Let's not forget Garcinia Cambogia, often touted as a weight loss miracle. While it's marketed to suppress appetite and block fat production, research indicates that long-term use can lead to liver toxicity, marked by jaundice, extreme fatigue, and abdominal pain. Lastly, red yeast rice is often used to help lower cholesterol levels. However, it is notorious for being poorly regulated, meaning the levels of its active compound, monocalin K, can vary significantly between products. This inconsistency raises the risk of liver injury, particularly among individuals consuming high doses. Reflect on this. Have you taken any of these supplements? Do you know someone who might have experienced similar issues to Jim? It's crucial to share these stories and spread awareness about the potential dangers. Millions of people take supplements, believing they're enhancing their health, but many remain oblivious to the risks lurking behind the labels. And while I admit I take some supplements myself, you need to be vigilant. Can you identify when your liver might be in jeopardy? The symptoms Jim faced are more common than you think. Yellowing of the skin and eyes, persistent nausea and vomiting, extreme fatigue, even after a restful night's sleep, and pain 
in the right side of the abdomen, just beneath the ribs. There are other warning signs too. The challenge lies in connecting these symptoms to the supplements you may be taking. Like Jim, many individuals only realize the gravity of their situation when it's too late. As alarming as it is, the number of people needing liver transplants due to toxic supplements is on a frightening rise. From 2010 to 2020, cases have surged dramatically. Jim's transplant saved his life, but the aftermath of his experience left lasting damage. He now grapples with chronic kidney disease, a direct consequence of the complications from his liver transplant and the prior damage inflicted on his body. Chronic fatigue, frequent abdominal pain, and the looming possibility of additional medical interventions haunt his days. Jim's story serves as a powerful warning. He warns others about the dangers of unregulated supplements. I thought the worst case scenario was wasting money, he says, but I never imagined these products could cost my health and nearly my life. His experience is far from unique. Millions are unknowingly putting their well-being at risk every day. The supplement industry grows unchecked, with over half of the analyzed products not containing the ingredients listed on their labels. This discrepancy could mean you're ingesting harmful substances without even knowing it. If you or someone you care about is currently taking supplements, it's crucial to remain vigilant. Don't blindly trust labels or miraculous claims. Consult a healthcare professional and make informed choices to safeguard your health. As Jim's journey continues, the importance of awareness and vigilance becomes ever more apparent. He dedicates his life to educating others about the dangers lurking in seemingly harmless supplements. It's not just about his experience, it's about spreading knowledge to prevent others from facing a similar fate. Jim often shares his story, emphasizing how easily trust can be misplaced in the supplement industry. Many people assume that if a product is on the shelf, it must be safe. But that is a dangerous misconception. He urges everyone to question what they're consuming and to consider the potential impact on their health. With so much misinformation and aggressive marketing tactics, it can be difficult to discern what's truly beneficial. It's essential to recognize that not all supplements are created equal. Some may have genuine health benefits when taken appropriately, but the risks often outweigh the potential rewards when taken without proper guidance. Jim's advocacy serves as a beacon for those navigating the murky waters of health supplements. He encourages people to embrace a holistic approach to wellness, prioritizing a balanced diet, regular exercise, and mindfulness practices over quick fixes in a bottle. The truth is, nature often provides everything our bodies need when we consume whole foods. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats contribute to our overall well-being and reduce the need for additional supplementation. But even with a focus on whole foods, it's crucial to stay informed about any supplements you might still consider taking. Do your research read studies, and most importantly, consult healthcare professionals before adding anything new to your regimen. Remember that just because a product is labeled as natural doesn't mean it's safe. The word natural can be misleading in the supplement world. Many naturally sourced ingredients can still pose risks, especially in concentrated forms. In Jim's case, he's learned the hard way that trusting products without thorough investigation can lead to devastating consequences. His life now revolves around managing complications from his previous health crisis, and he's determined to use his experience to help others avoid a similar fate. He has turned his pain into purpose, speaking at events, participating in health forums, and engaging with online communities to share his message. 
he asks everyone to share their experiences and thoughts on supplements, fostering a dialogue that encourages awareness and education. He understands that knowledge is power. By sharing his story, he hopes to empower others to take control of their health. As more people engage in conversations about the potential dangers of supplements, it can lead to greater awareness, regulation, and ultimately safer choices for consumers. So, what can you do to protect yourself? Start by being proactive. Monitor your health regularly and listen to your body. If you notice any unusual symptoms, fatigue, digestive issues, changes in skin color, seek medical advice immediately. Educate yourself about the products you're considering. Ask questions about their sourcing, potential side effects, and whether they interact with any medications you may be taking. And remember, you are not alone. Many people share similar concerns and experiences. Joining support groups or forums can provide a sense of community and encouragement as you navigate your health journey. By collaborating and sharing insights, we can create a culture that prioritizes safety and well-being. As you reflect on Jim's story, consider how it relates to your own health choices. Are you being as diligent as you could be? What changes can you make today to ensure you're prioritizing your well-being? Each small step contributes to a healthier future, not just for you, but for your loved ones as well. In conclusion, be wary of the promises made by the supplement industry. Prioritize transparency, education, and health over convenience and quick fixes. Jim's experience is a stark reminder of the potential dangers that lie within the seemingly benign bottles on store shelves. It's crucial to stay informed, make educated decisions, and prioritize your health. Share your story, advocate for safer practices, and together we can help protect each other from the risks associated with unregulated supplements. Jim may have faced a daunting battle, but he emerged with a renewed sense of purpose, determined to help others navigate the complex world of health and wellness. Before we go any further, I want to let you know that I'm going to leave a link for you to click on in the description below with our healthy eating guide with recipes that explain how to cleanse your organs, arteries, and body with natural homemade recipes so you can prevent future health problems. There's even a tutorial that teaches you how to grow herbs at home to make teas. Take a look and then come back and tell our team what you think. Okay, if you've watched this far, click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our health tips and it's very important that you share this knowledge with your friends and family.